All right, hello, welcome. My name is Josh. We're reviewing today the Honest Six Durability Program. That is a program, bam, with these things, these five pound on it steel clubs. Can you see that? Check it out. There it is. If you're interested in signing up for the program, if you do so through my link, I will be compensated and I will continue to chase my dream of uh, being a full-time YouTuber. So that would be cool. The format that we're gonna follow for this review is I'm gonna explain what it is, kind of like what Onnit sells it as, right? Why I got it specifically for me, just how the general experience was, what it was like, what I thought, uh, just kind of a flexible, just talk about my experience time there. And then like, did it do what I wanted it to do? Obviously very important with a fitness program, right? Like did it bring me closer to my goals, my fitness goals at the time? Yeah, so we'll get right into it. First thing, what is it? So the Onnit 6 durability program is designed for untrained individuals, injured people, old old people, uh, people that are kind of, you know, just e either getting back into fitness or need to take things easy, but still need, uh, a, you know, just a functional and effective training program. And that is how they market it to you. So, and how they do that is it's basically about four days a week of these like low impact workouts with these steel clubs. And you know, they're five pounds a piece. You got one in each hand, the other one's on the ground right there, right now. How, how they do it, right, is these kind of low impact, low intensity, yet full body exertion um, type experience with with the program. So uh, that's what it is. It's two days on, one, one day off, two days on, then two days off, I think. If you wanna do it that way, that's the, the, the structure of it. It's like workout, workout. Oh, then they have like foam roller sessions too, for you to do on the off days, which are pretty cool. And then two days on again, and then they have the rest day with the foam roller, right? So uh, recovery resources for you as well with the foam rolling. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool that they had that as well. Why I got it was because if you've been following my channel, I have been undergoing a knee health recovery journey over the last year, a bit more than a year now. And this program was kind of an in-between. My knees are, are ready for a bit more, but they're not like ready to get in the squat rack or swing the heavy kettlebells or play basketball yet. And yeah, so that's why I used it. Then, so how was how was it? How was the program? What was doing these workouts like? It was really good. I, I do well with like guided um, group class type stuff. It makes me have to not think as much. It makes me able to just like show up, turn it on, do the thing and then give me everything I need, warm up, workout, cool down, and then, and I'm done and, and that's it. And so that's what it was, uh, which is pretty cool. Like I said, was a full body experience every time. There aren't like upper or lower split or anything. It was just like either you're doing a workout or you're kind of rolling on the foam roller or doing yoga or something or, you know, stretching out and kind of recovering. Um, not that it ever was intense enough to, to warrant like, oh man, I really need a day off for this, you know, but it was low intensity, um, it, but it was still like, you know, you felt all these kind of stabilizing muscles working like forearms and grip and, and core and, and shoulders kind of in a small, precise motor units way, I guess. <laughs> it did feel super functional. I feel my range of motion in a low squat was improved or like my hip rotation, shoulder, uh, what do you call it? Extension, shoulder extension um, was better. Hinge mechanics I focus on, that's just good generally for posture. I liked the workouts. It was nice to, um, to be able to do them. They didn't hurt my knees, which was what I was looking to get out of it, you know, get a full body exercise experience, not hurt my knees, make my knees better. Um, and they, they aided me in that for sure. I was also doing the knees over toes exercises still throughout this because neither of these things were super hard or demanding of my body or my knees, right? Luckily, I was able to progress both objectives at the same time, the, you know, the knee health and the full body fitness exertion, you know, like I, I want to exercise a lot and be in shape, you know? And that was what I was able to do with this program throughout it. You could substitute dumbbells for the, for the steel clubs. The thing is like, there's more weight on one side, you know, there's kind of a handle to grab down here and then the weight is concentrated 
more in the head than the handle. And then you can like adjust your grip on the thing. Like sometimes, sometimes there's a, a row or a curl or something and you want to hold it so the weight is even on both sides. And sometimes it's, uh, it's like, a, like a swing or something where you're extending and the weight out here is like extending the lever of your arm and like the force that you need to move that lever um, is tougher because it's extended, right? Um, so those type of like, you can tell some things are designed for that aspect of the club, which is, is important I think to have the clubs for that. I guess I would say that you need clubs. Um, but you don't have to get on its clubs there. Um, so I, I think I got a bundle that made it so that if I bought them together, it was, it was cheaper, but I think you can get cheaper clubs just like on Amazon. I'll link, I'll link all the stuff for you guys. So clubs, um, foam roller you need for it too. I figure a lot of people have a foam roller, but uh, I'll, I guess I'll link a foam roller as well. Yeah, remember, you know, even if you don't buy anything, just click through my links and buy something else. <laughs> I guess we can move into like, did it accomplish what I wanted it to at this point? I think, yeah, yes, it really did move forward my goals. It came at right at the perfect time. Um, it fit right in between um, the like levels of fitness I was capable of, you know, it, the knees over toes body weight program was too easy for me, but doing a full, um, like the next stage of the knees over toes program, it's called dense strength. That was, would have been too much at the time, I think. And also I, like just doing regular lifting, you know, explosive, fully exerting uh, lifting would have been too much for me at the time too. And um, same thing with just like the level of activity that I'm at now, I wasn't ready for it and this kind of, this got me there. It provided, like I said, just a show up, do this, this, and this, follow it along. You won't be neglecting everything. It has a warm up, it has a cool down. Um, it has stuff to do on an off day. Uh, yeah, it was just what I needed, I think. If this is all sounding like stuff like, you know, you're kind of resonating with my situation, then I definitely, I would recommend it. I think it was great for me. Yeah, I would recommend it as a first step for someone that, you know, fits into the other boxes that this checks, like just older older individuals, untrained people. This is maybe like your first fitness program. Um, it, it would be good for that because it doesn't overdo anything in any certain area and it hits a bunch of neglected areas like flexibility and hips and core and shoulders that, you know, a standard beginner like weight lifting program might not give you. Um, this is a good way to, to just kind of get that connection of your body manipulating uh, resistance, moving through space, but like moving in a functional range that your body wants, as opposed to being locked into like the planes of a uh, machine or a barbell, um, if that's the, the way that you're you know trying to get into fitness. I think something like this, where it's you're moving a implement uh, like that's, that's through space and the, uh, you're allowing your body to, to move the weight the way that your body wants to functionally move the weight. I like that for just for like my situation, recovering from injury and for just training and exercising and kind of taking that first step in in that way as well. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, the links for on it six durability is in the description. Um, if you have any questions about it, I answer all my comments. Uh, feel free to leave a question in the comments. I'll answer it. And again, yeah, if you're thinking of buying the program, I'd appreciate it if you use my link that supports me directly. Yeah, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Good luck with the program. If you've got an injury, let me know. Sound off in the comments and you know, I'll hear from you guys in the next video.